You think you know me? What up, YouTube? Welcome to Ray M Wrestling. It's your boy Mo. So today we got a reaction from Wrestling Gifts, my boy. How did look? Can't talk. How the WWE failed Roman Reigns from 2014 to 2020. Uh, shout out to Wrestling Gifts. I'm a big fan of bro. Low key, his videos got me through the pandemic. I'm not even gonna hold you. But now, 2014, like from Roman Reigns, man, that is babyface. He's like, don't forget, he started hot. Like people liked him. And then he did the stupid ass uh, Suffer and Succotash promo and, and then it just died from there, bro. And it just got worse and worse. And then the booking decisions got worse and worse. Man, there were so many chances they had to repair Roman Reigns, but I'm glad that they've done it now with this heel turn. But yeah, let's let's get into this. If you like, if you're new here, like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. If you're not new here, like the video, comment down below, share the video around. Let's get it, man. Let's go. Mm -hmm. It's 2023, and Roman Reigns has officially reached 1,000 days as Universal Champion. Congrats, as he yes, sits sir. at the top of the mountain, he's no longer the big dog, but now he's the head of the table. He is now the tribal chief. Yep. Roman Reigns, for the past few years, has finally become the main attraction in pro wrestling, the top draw in the yes, business, sir. the needle mover, the main event. He has finally become the face of the WWE. For Since sure. the day he walked into the business, this was supposed to be the end goal. This was yeah. what the higher ups wanted from day one. This is what the potential looked like and the top was where Roman was destined to be. However, it was not that easy. No. Nope. What was supposed to be nope. an easy path to the top, the man was supposed to be a surefire lock found himself in limbo for six years. For six years, the man found himself yeah. being booed out of arenas, being the most hated man in wrestling, being considered the most overpushed wrestler in decades, winning man. awards such as most overrated by the yeah, Wrestling Observer, man, the most man. hated wrestler of the year by Pro Wrestling Illustrated, and somehow turning that around to being awarded best box office draw in 2022. That's crazy. Roman Reigns clearly That's had crazy. all the tools, all the potential, but for six years, he was public enemy number one for good reason. <laughs> and the crazy part was, it wasn't even his fault. So let's go back and take a look at that six year span and take a look oh back boy. at how bad it really was for Roman Reigns. Man. Nah, they for real failed him, bro. No cap. Sierra Hotel, India, Echo, Lima, Delta, Shield. Yes, sir. And the story began right after the shield broke up. Mm -hmm. It was obvious that the company had three main eventers on their hands, three yep. single stars who will carry the company into the future. But there was never any doubt that Roman was clearly going to be number one, that Roman was going to be the was John obvious. Cena for the next generation. Yep. The problem was, though, they wanted him to be exactly like John Cena. Like yeah, Overnight after the shield was over, Roman Reigns became a totally different person. Apparently, he had a split personality or something because out of nowhere he went from being normal to doing the most extra and annoying facial expressions every time yeah, he was in the ring man. he went from never talking to having the most cringe dialogue you could imagine every single week roman reigns went from being the silent killer to a pg era kissing babies and hugging fat girls john hey, that's his daughter real quick <laughs> and as a result that's his daughter come on kiss him that's his daughter yo chill out but yeah I low-key forgot about that. Roman, Roman, man, they had him saying some stupid shit, but it didn't really, it didn't really hit until that stupid ass suffered suck attached bullshit, man. By the end of the year, the resentment towards Roman Reigns was in full effect. Just like that, yeah. the company was pushing Roman Reigns to the moon, all while completely changing what the fans loved about Roman in the first place. He was going to the top before he or the fans were even ready for it, yeah, and they were making the like... same mistake they made 20 years prior. Basically, the company diesel ah. Roman Reigns. Diesel in 1994 was awesome. Very the fans true. loved him as a quiet badass bodyguard to Shawn Michaels. Then out of nowhere, That's Vince makes true. him the champion and overnight, Diesel went it from being the down. quiet badass that everyone loved to wearing suits, going on talk shows, cutting promos every single week, having a personality, trying to be funny, and just no. being the clean cut face of the company, Didn't the work. nice guy. But the issue was, nobody wanted that. And no, just when it work. looked like Diesel was the next big star of the company, 
He just ended up it, being it, average, it flopped, and yeah. business just kept going down and down when Diesel was on top, and he never recovered until he went to WCW, became a heel, and became Kevin Nash, and Very here true. in 2014, it seemed like history was repeating itself, and everyone was noticing it. Roman Reigns was getting the corporate makeover, so nah, they wanted nah. him to smile more, they wanted him to make some more jokes and make the crowd laugh, and Roman Reigns, just six months after leaving the Shield, was about to win the Royal Rumble. Mind you, he had been injured and out of action from September oh, to December. Yeah. So after just two um that really derailed him. That injury set him back cuz he had a lot of momentum. He really did out of the the shield breakup. He had a lot of momentum. But then he, that hernia injury happened before Night of Champions if I remember that correctly. And it just from there they brought him back and then try to keep the same momentum. It don't it don't work that way. It just don't work that way, especially when you're an up and comer. You know what I'm saying? When you're an up and comer and then you go out with injury, when you come back, you don't you don't just get to go straight to the top. You know what I'm saying? That's why people were like Daniel Bryan, because Daniel Bryan was a top guy when he went out. He was the world champion before he went out. So when he didn't win the Rumble, I mean he's probably gonna talk about it. Roman, I think that's the moment that ruined Roman Reigns, but we can talk about that in a minute months of being on his own, getting injured and missing months of TV, he was brought back and just like that, he was going to win the Royal Rumble. What for other stars like Cena, Austin, Man. Rock took years to build from mid-card titles to legendary feuds before they ever even sniffed the main event, for those stars they built them up so much that the fans were begging for them to be the top star, but with Roman Man. Reigns it was like it was so fast and the evolution was fast. so rushed, the change was so drastic that it became the company was begging the fans to treat him like a top star. And of course that did not work out, the boos just got louder and louder every single week every and this week. man was still wearing the same shield outfit coming out to the same shield theme, they were mm. trying to bank on any goodwill the shield aesthetic had, right, Roman Reigns right. to no fault of his own was being booked as a total disaster and the rest was just history. Man. When he won the Royal Rumble and the crowd rejected oh, him so bad God. that even The Rock was confused, it was a surprise to no one. Except apparently the company. There was no need to rush him into that position. There was None. no need to set him up like that. At all. But these idiots just kept digging the grave deeper and deeper. So he wins the Royal Rumble, he gets rejected. What do they do? Man, when Rumble season comes around, I might either make a video on how bad this Rumble is, or I might just do a ranking of all the Rumbles. And this this is gonna be the worst. I just just look out for that, it's gonna be the worst. They bro. make him look like a total sucker going Absolutely into the terrible. main event of WrestleMania. No one will ever forget the legendary tug of rope to build up the WrestleMania main event. And just like that, mm. the Roman Reigns character became a buffoon. The way he was presented, it was clear that this was a man to not be taken seriously. He right. was really a meme, which looking back was so tragic. Clearly man. this man had all the tools, clearly he had what it took to be the man, but the company absolutely destroyed him and they definitely set him up for failure. Right. So when he didn't walk out of WrestleMania champion, you bet your ass the fans were happy and then no matter what hey, the company did. They that match though, it's my favorite match of all time bro. Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar with the Seth Rollins cash in. Dude. It's like we expected it to be trash. We wa walked into it like expecting actual, absolute garbage, and it was one of the best main events of all time. Check out my original my video ranking all the WrestleMania main events. Cheap plug. But yeah, man, this this match was fantastic. This match I wanna say though, people I think this like that Royal Rumble win, I feel like people just held that grudge for too long. That's just me. I think that's what made it harder for Roman to get over. Because he lost at WrestleMania. You, you got what you wanted, and they still hated this nigga. I don't know. I think people just held that grudge a little too long, but that's just me. There's nothing that was going to save him. As awesome as the match was at WrestleMania, realistically, he should have been the one beating Rusev and ending the US title reign. Yeah, he should have been tearing have been it up in the mid card so much perfect. so that the fans would, would get behind him, him and yeah. would eventually want him as a world champion. Right. But instead, they were just making it worse. Right. Yeah. As 2015 was coming to an end, they would have him win the title and get screwed so they could get some sympathy for him. Plot yeah, twist, no. there was no sympathy to be found. Nope. They were down so bad, they even brought back that a 70 year old Vince McMahon to beef him to try to recreate some Stone Cold magic like it's 1998 or something, just so maybe the crowd would get behind him. 
and it worked you know, for the a couple crazy weeks. part was sometimes they actually would. Yeah. Sometimes the crowd would cheer for him because Roman for clearly weeks. had the potential to be a star. He did. But they ruined no it question. every single time. They would book him as a buffoon, yet at the same time, they would push him to the top. So it just made no sense. Like, what were you guys doing? No, man. He was out here getting low blowed by a 70 year old man, still doing like, that stupid ass smile, still trying to live off the shield hype. So there like, was no sympathy. Off, Why would there be sympathy for a guy who didn't have to overcome anything? It was like the weirdest thing all this stuff that he should have been facing and overcoming he did it after he had already main evented a wrestlemania right, it's like, how does that make care, any bro. sense Come on. so of course when he beat triple h in the main event of wrestlemania in front of a hundred thousand people nobody horrible. cared because horrible. once that stain was on him sadly there was it nothing was he could do once done. the fans saw him as a corny over push buffoon there was no coming back no. and the company instead of changing they things up they just they kept could. digging they the grave work. So it didn't matter that he had great matches with AJ Styles nope. because the time for him to have great matches and get the fans behind him, that time was already over and it didn't help that Seth Rollins the whole time was the Bret Hart to Roman's Diesel. Yeah. In 2016, Seth Rollins became the guy for so many fans. All the fans that hated Roman's push, they just got they behind wanted, Seth. Seth. As time went on, they but did Seth everything they could with Roman. They, they, they kept Seth heel instead of just capitalizing on the fact that everyone likes him. That's printing money. Just give people what they want to see. That's literally how you print money, bro. What, what, what's, your, what's, what's the malfunction? I will say, though, I was one of the Roman, Rain, Roman Reigns fans that had to, like, preface everything by, like, I don't agree with all this booking, but, I mean, I still like the guy. I was always that, I was always, I was that one guy. I was that guy delegated him to the mid card so he could be US champion and grind it out before going to the main event and they were just praying and hoping that maybe just maybe the fans will like him because right. he's not in the main event anymore nope no matter what feuds <laughs> nope. no matter what matches he had no matter how good they were Roman Reigns could have went back in time and stopped 9-11 but at the oh, end of the day okay. it was still Roman Reigns okay. it was still the guy who everyone just perceived as a bozo and things just got worse when he got yeah, sent man. back to the main event. For some reason, they thought the way to get Roman Reigns over again, to get the fans behind him once again on the main event scene, was to have the man that everybody hates beat up a 52-year-old man who happens to be oh probably the most beloved legend on the roster. For Why? some reason, the company thought making Roman Reigns commit elder abuse was going to get him loved by the fans. So no, of course this not. Didn't work Instead, at all. after beating up the old man, Roman Reigns Completely came back to fire. Raw and was booed for 10 minutes ten straight. Minutes. In one of the most iconic promos of the 2010s, Bro. Roman Reigns just stood there and the one fans the from around the world who had three years of built-up resentment to this man just let it all out. Yep. And if there was ever a time to make Roman Reigns heal, this, this was, was the it. one. This is my yard now. Perfect heel start. Perfect start. But they didn't instead, do it. they just kept digging the grave. So Why? after beating up an old man didn't work, what did they do? They got desperate. They brought back John Cena for a B pay-per-view oh, for no mercy of all God. shows to put over Roman Reigns, like, to pass the torch the quietly and no mercy for some reason. And just maybe, just maybe, the fans will somehow love Roman Reigns. Like, no. The issue was though, no. a week before the match, John Cena absolutely murdered Roman Reigns on the microphone. Cena left yeah. him wasted, calling out oh everything the fans hate about Roman and his right three year here. push, how he will never fit Ooh, Cena's shoes, how he's just a corporate made John Cena wannabe, yep. how he can't cut a promo to save his life, and they yeah, just had man. Roman stand there and, and take just it. take it. Looking like the Bro. biggest bozo I had Look ever like seen in idiot. my life, and yeah, eventually he would stand up and talk and say, you know, Cena, you're a bitch. But the damage yeah, was done. It was too late. So it Roman beats Cena. Cena passes a torch. Nah, it doesn't mean anything. Roman Reigns even reunites with the Shield with the sole purpose of I hey, this, this might get him cheered. I saw right no. through it. And just like I said before, Roman Reigns was stuck in limbo. He yeah. would win titles. Like I enjoyed the Shield reunion, but everyone saw right through it. We saw what you were trying to do. We saw it, bro. You wouldn't. You can't get past a lot. Of, you can't get past wrestling fans. There's nothing you can get past a wrestling fan. They see it all, bro. Come on. Lose Especially titles, nowadays. have horrible WrestleMania main events, this go match back to the sucked. mid card, go back to the main event. But Roman was never able to become what he was destined for, no, no matter how hard the push was. Even though all the tools were right there, even though he had it in him, the company failed him. Hell, the most sympathy and love Man. from the fans he got was when he announced that he had leukemia again and when yeah, he came back from it because he finally came off as a real person, a as a relatable human, as, as Joe, as someone real. Yeah. Someone 
someone the fans could connect to, not a robot designed in Stanford, Connecticut in WWE headquarters to become the next John Cena. Roman right. Reigns' initial run ended with more of the same. A stupid feud with Shane McMahon of all people, a feud with Baron Corbin over oh dog food, God. and was even supposed to wrestle Horrible. Goldberg for the title at WrestleMania. Yep. It was literally a career limbo. And it was getting sad, okay? Ridiculous. It was a man who had all the talent in the world, who should have been the guy who wasn't some corny buffoon that he was being forced to portray. Literally. As time went on, we found out that he didn't want to say those stupid ass lines and jokes yeah, in the promos. Crazy. He didn't want to make those stupid facial expressions in every promo. Nah, instead it wow. was the WWE, the booking, the creative, the vision that the higher ups had put Roman in this position yep. and they handled it horribly Horrible. since day one. And because of everything they did in the first year or two, the man himself and the fans had to suffer until 2020. Which, thank God they made this But switch. luckily for everyone involved, when Roman came back from his hiatus Her during heel. the peak of the pandemic, he came back with a vengeance. Yes. He came back and he came back on his terms. He wanted to do things his way, to his become way, a heel, bro. to work with Paul Heyman. No more creative telling him how to act, what facial expressions I'm to so do, this and that. that. It was about him, it was Paul Heyman, and all the corniness, all the years all of him being gone. presented as a clown, those days were over. Done. And he went from being the top dog to the tribal chief, and the rest was history. Thank God. So, how bad was the Roman Reigns run from 2014 until 2020? Mm. It was bad. What was supposed to be the prime of his career was six years that Roman, that the company and the fans like to pretend, a never waste. happened. Yeah. The fans got six years of being force-fed a corny version of Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns got rejected and booed out of arenas for six years. And there was no reason for any of that to happen, yep. but the company Preach. just kept digging the grave. Roman Reigns has been so elite for the past few years that we almost kind of forgot how bad the first six yeah, years was. It's really and even though this. it wasn't his fault, it's definitely no, something important to remember. The WWE missed out on so much magic for those six years, and they almost butchered the career of an all-time great. But luckily for them and everyone involved, God, it he, he all worked it right. out. Yeah. And those six years are why the past three years have been so good for Roman Reigns. It's why the new attitude and the gimmick have hit it so hard works, yeah. because of how bad those years were. But that doesn't change the fact and it shouldn't be forgotten just how dirty the WWE did Roman Reigns they from 2014 so until 2020. Man. It is honestly a miracle that it all worked out how it did. Thank God, man. Hey man, shout out to Wrestling Gifts for sure, bro. Shout out to Wrestling Gifts, great video. This is my boy right here. But yeah, Roman, Roman from that time period. Like you could see the cracks of something great every so often. There was always like the, those couple of moments where like, oh, th this could be so great. And then they give us some BS, like WrestleMania 34 main event. Nobody wanted that. We all wanted Nakamura and Styles main event. And they, I, in my opinion, I think they sabotaged that match, that Styles Nakamura match, just to, just for Roman and Brock to be better, and that ended up being a colossal mess. I just the Roman push, I feel so bad for him, but I'm glad that they've been able to rectify all that nowadays. And you know, he now he's a thousand days world champion, one of the greatest world champions of all time. So shout out to Roman Reigns. Thank you all so much for watching. Shout out to Wrestling Gifts for making the video. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you on the next one. Peace out.